Welcome to the TubeBuddy Express podcast, brought to you by TubeBuddy, the number one tool to make your YouTube life easy. Each week, we discuss how you can utilize TubeBuddy to enhance your YouTube experience and make your life as a creator easier. And now, here's your host, Dusty Porter. Hello, and welcome back again, creative people, to another episode of the TubeBuddy Express podcast, where each and every week, I give you an actionable tip that will help you in your YouTube journey to hopefully help your videos rank better and your channel grow quicker here on TubeBuddy Express. Again, my name is Dusty. I also host the podcast called YouTube Creators Hub, where each and every week on Wednesdays, I release an episode where I interview a creator of that week and talk to them about their YouTube journey and talk with them about their strategies and techniques and tips they've used to grow their channel. We have people on there who have just began on on YouTube. And then we have people on there who've been on YouTube for over a decade with over a million subscribers. So definitely a bunch of different varying uh, viewpoints of different things on YouTube and video creation and a lot of good stuff over there on the YouTube Creators Hub podcast. So what are we going to be talking about this week? We're going to be talking about how to get your videos to rank higher in search and in related search by utilizing playlist. Yes, you heard me correctly, playlist. Sometimes the forgotten child in the YouTube ecosystem or sphere, playlists are extremely important when it comes to ranking your content. And in beginning with talking about playlists, I want to remind you all that your goal on YouTube when it comes to ranking your videos is you want to rank your videos high, not only in YouTube search, but Google search as well. You're going to be getting a lot of traffic from Google as well as YouTube. When someone searches Google, normally one of the top, you know, three or five results there will be two or three videos and you want your video to rank in that top result when someone's searching for those, you know, very broad or specific keywords. So by creating playlists, it will increase the session watch time on your channel. And a lot of times it will autoplay if you set it up that way. So we're going to talk about how to set up playlists to autoplay to keep people in your YouTube channel, in your ecosystem. So you want to increase session watch time or video watch time, right? You've heard that. That's a buzzword that's been thrown around in the YouTube space now for a long time. So let's explain what that means. The longer someone stays in your channel, on your channel, watching your videos, the longer amount of video that the the person watches of that specific video, the higher that video is going to rank. YouTube has come come out and said, this is one of the most important things when it comes to ranking videos in YouTube search. So you wanna make sure that you're keeping those people there. What better way to do that than to create a playlist with, you know, normally you wanna have about five to eight videos in a playlist. Don't get crazy and, you know, I think the maximum is 200 videos, but don't go crazy. You wanna keep them around five to seven videos. And then once you've done that, there's an option when you create your playlist, you can click a checkbox that says, make this playlist a series. So you want to make that playlist a series. So whenever one video ends, another one starts. And you know, it's not going to some random video from someone else's channel. It's actually going to a related video. So it'll be something they're interested in within the same playlist. So again, the best way to get your videos to rank in suggested search, which will be the little right hand column whenever you're watching a video and it shows suggested search, I get a ton of views each and every day because my videos are in suggested search. You want to make sure that you're utilizing your playlist to make sure that you're in the suggested search. So series playlists are great. Five to seven videos in a series. And again, make sure you hit the little checkbox to make sure you're setting up your playlist as a series. And in order to find that checkbox, go to your playlist that you're wanting to to edit and change into a series playlist. Click the playlist options. It'll have a little gear icon, and then you'll see the options to set it up as a series. Also, please make sure you're giving your playlist good titles and good descriptions. It's just as important to do this with your playlist for SEO purposes as it is for your individual videos. Optimize this area like you would a specific individual video. A lot of times I like to think of playlists as TV series. So when you come to these series playlists, think of them as an actual season one, season two. So a lot of times vloggers will ask me, why would I wanna do playlists? It's extremely important to do playlists. If you're vlogging, you can do, uh, you know, the month of April, you know, it'll be here. The month of May will be here. If you have Christmas vlogs, put them in a specific Christmas 2016 playlist, a series. So there's so many things that you can be doing. It doesn't matter what type of channel that you are. You want to curate that like 
like-minded content, the, the content that's going to be related into a playlist. And then once you get them hooked, once you get them there, you'll want those videos to autoplay one after the other. And think about this, if they're on multiple videos of yours, it's more likely that they're going to click that subscribe button. So that's a perfect segue onto talking about how to set up playlists on your channel page. It's so important to set up your channel page and have playlists and when they scroll down right underneath your channel trailer, they're going to see the list of playlists. I always like to alternate between the vertical and horizontal layout for playlists just to spice it up a little bit. It looks different. It varies the aesthetics there on your channel and it makes it look a little better. So make sure that you're utilizing your home page, your channel page there and have all of your playlists listed below. What I like to do, for example, on my channel is I do a lot of YouTube tutorials, obviously on my YouTube channel right there. One of my first playlists, it says, get started on YouTube here. You know, I have a playlist that basically curates all of my best five to seven videos on helping people getting started on YouTube. So whatever that is, whatever you want people to see first, put that at the top and you can arrange and move and do all of this and see what works best for you on a weekly basis. So make sure you're creating playlists consistently so that way you can have enough to fill out your channel page. So in closing, why would you want to do this? Why would you want to optimize and create playlists and spend so much time doing this? Because it will keep people in your channel ecosystem and it will increase your session and watch time on your channel, which I've talked about before is extremely important in ranking your videos, not only in YouTube search, but Google search as well. So remember playlist, they're a huge part of what we do on YouTube. Don't leave them uh, as the, the stepchild out to where you're not doing anything. I see a lot of great YouTubers who are doing very well, but they're not utilizing playlists and they could be increasing their channel watch time. And it would just be amazing if they would start using those playlists and, and, and placing them on their channel page and doing it that way. So that is enough about playlists and enough about ranking. Hopefully you can take that this week, utilize that on your YouTube channel. Email me, Dusty at YouTube Creators Hub. Let me know what you found out with playlists some things that you like to do with playlists. And I might put you on next week's episode. So let's go ahead and jump into the TubeBuddy tip of the week. And what better thing to talk about than playlists, right? So TubeBuddy has an amazing feature. If you go in the upper right-hand corner of your YouTube channel page, click on the little TubeBuddy menu interface there on the right-hand upper side of your screen, scroll down under quick links and go to your playlist. This is going to list out all of your playlists that you have. And if you've been doing what I talked about in this episode, you should have some playlists. Uh, over on the right-hand side, right next to the specific playlist, you're going to see edit videos with the TubeBuddy icon. If you click on that, that specific link that says edit videos with the TubeBuddy icon, something that TubeBuddy does that is making my life so much easier is it actually allows you to edit all of the videos right in one place and tells you and shows you all of the videos that are in that specific playlist. You can click them, you can drag them around, you can rearrange them, you can click on them uh, on the right hand side there. It'll actually allow you to have all of those videos that are in one place right there in that playlist for you to go and edit. So if you're looking to improve your playlist game, which you should be obviously with the tips that I gave you in this week's episode, go on over, use the TubeBuddy tools within playlists to go and arrange all of your playlists, make them a little better, clean them up if you haven't already, and be able to access all of the videos in individual playlists right there from within the TubeBuddy menu. So guys, again, I wanna thank you so much for listening. This show is growing very quickly. I've done a lot of podcasts and this one's probably the quickest uh, as far as growth that I've seen on, on my you know history of doing podcasts. So I really appreciate that. Don't forget to email me with your questions. If you've got specific questions you'd like to have, have answered on the show, I'm going to do some Q&A episodes and things like that. Maybe even bring some, some guests on who use TubeBuddy and things like that. Talk about how they use TubeBuddy. I think it'd be great to have some TubeBuddy ambassadors on the show. Hit me up, dusty at tubebuddy.com. Tweet the uh, TubeBuddy Twitter account with some questions. Just go ahead and hashtag uh, TubeBuddy Express there for the podcast. And guys, thank you so much for spending your time with me this, the, you know, this last 10 minutes. And guys, I will see you again next Friday.